Hola, en la última lección aprendimos a utilizar How Often y los adverbios de frecuencia para hablar de actividades cotidianas. ¿Se acuerdan cuando Cristal, Sarasvati y Jero hablan de sus actividades? Vamos a verlo. You look exhausted. I went jogging in the park with my mother. That's great, Cristal. How often do you exercise? I often exercise. I usually do it on weekends. What time do you get up on weekends? I usually get up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. I go jogging with my mom. After that, I always take a shower. I'm glad you do. <laughs> it makes you feel fresh and clean. Mm -hmm. And you, Jero? How often do you take a shower? <laughs> I always take a shower at 7 in the morning. <laughs> Why? Do I smell bad? <laughs> No, you don't smell bad. Just a simple question about your daily routine. Well, as part of my routine, I like to play soccer. How often do you play soccer? I always play soccer on Saturday nights with some friends. Mm -hmm. Then, I usually go to eat hamburgers. Mm. And you, Sarasvati, how often do you eat hamburgers? Mm -hmm. I never eat hamburgers. Mm -hmm. I'm a vegetarian. I always eat vegetables, uh -huh. fruit, and Indian food. I sometimes eat chicken, but I usually eat fish. Unit 1, Lesson 12. Whales are very intelligent. Identificarán cognados en un texto. <risa> Hola amigos, en esta lección hablaremos sobre los cognados o cognates en inglés. Los cognados son aquellas palabras que se escriben y pronuncian casi igual que en español y muchas veces hasta tienen el mismo significado. Por ejemplo, technique en inglés y técnica en español. O poem en inglés y poema en español. Ahora, comencemos la lección. Let's start the lesson. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Keep writing. Okay, we're almost done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hi, Cristal. <laughs> Who's your friend? She isn't my friend. She's my cousin. Uh -huh. Her name is Susana. Susana, this is my friend Hero. Nice to meet you, Hero. Nice to meet you too, Susana. She likes music and she loves to write. Really, Susana? <laughs> What do you like to write about? <laughs> well, I really like poetry. I like to write poems. That's incredible. <laughs> Are you writing a poem now? She's helping me with my homework. We're writing an article about the Zacateche. The Zaca what? Yes, the Teporingo. I have no idea what that is. It's an animal. <laughs> oh, so that's what it is. Yes, it's a rabbit. It's also known as the volcano rabbit. Frequently, they are called Zacatuches. <laughs> it's a Nahuatl name for rabbits that live in the tall grass. Do you want to read our article, Hero? Sure, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> the Zacatoche, also known as the Poringo or the Volcano mm -hmm. Rabbit. It's a very unusual animal in the Mexican ecosystem. Mm -hmm. It is the smallest species of rabbit in existence in Mexico. Mm -hmm. It has a small rounded ears, short thick fur, and short legs. Mm -hmm. The Zacatoche is also known to be one of the few types of mm -hmm. rabbit capable of emitting sounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The Zacatoche is another victim of the loss of its habitat. Mm -hmm. This has put it on the endangered species list. Mm. Very impressive, Cristal. 
I didn't know all that information about the Zacatuche. <laughs> Do you think I could have a copy of your article? I would like to read it on my Radio Rebelde program. Sure. That will make me very happy. I'll send it to your email. <laughs> Thank you, Cristal. I'll go inside to start working on today's show. <laughs> okay, Geronimo. Have fun. Thank you, Cristal. Goodbye, Susana. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mike. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, Geronimo. I was watching her. <laughs> Do you mean Cristal? No, the other one. Oh, I think she's really attractive. <laughs> that is Susana. She's Cristal's cousin. You should go and talk to her. She's very sociable. Are you crazy? I can't go and introduce myself. I'm very nervous and shy. It's really easy. I'll help you break the ice. What do I need ice for? It's really cold here. <laughs> I was kidding. Oh, yeah, that's right. So what do you suggest? Well, she mentioned she liked poems. You should write a rap song for her. A rap song? But I can't rhyme. Sure you can. I'll help you. Here, use this notebook. <laughs> Try something like this. <laughs> okay. Mm. I just find it extraordinary mm -hmm. that you're doing what is necessary mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to help your little cousin with her very special vocabulary. <laughs> mm. oh. It takes a lot of experience <laughs> mm. to really make a difference. Mm. This isn't just didactic. <laughs> My diagnostic is fantastic. Mm. You have my admiration mm -hmm. and lots of my attention. <laughs> For this consideration, <laughs> you have earned my adoration. <laughs> you must think I'm a lunatic, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm a romantic. <laughs> Let us go and have some coffee <laughs> and some delicious bread and honey. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome! Let's read it together to see how it goes. I just find it so extraordinary that you're doing what is necessary to help your little cousin with her very special vocabulary. It takes a lot of experience to really make a difference. This isn't just didactic. My diagnostic is fantastic. You have my admiration and lots of my attention. For this consideration, you have earned my adoration. You must think I'm a lunatic, but I'm not, I'm a romantic. Let's go and have some coffee and some delicious bread and honey. <laughs> Good. Now all you have to do is go and find her and sing it to her. Are you sure this will work? Do you really think she will go out with me? Sure, no problem. I'll guarantee it. I don't know. I'm, I'm very nervous. Don't be so insecure. Show more confidence. Besides, <laughs> what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> You're right. I'll go there and I'll impress her. That's the spirit. Yes, I think so too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh. Hi, Mickey. How are you? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, thank you. <gasps> Mickey, let me introduce my cousin, Susana. Mm -hmm. Susana, this is Miguel. But we all call him Mickey. Mm -hmm. He's a volunteer at the center. He loves music mm -hmm. and photography. Oh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so... You like music. <laughs> I like music too, but I prefer poetry. I love writing poetry. What a coincidence! <laughs> I was sitting on that bench over there, and I decided to write something for you. <laughs> really? A poem? For me? <laughs> well, it's not much of a poem. It's more like a rap song. <laughs> Fascinating. I would love to hear it. Okay. <laughs> 
And goes. I'm just finding it so extraordinary that you're doing what is necessary to help your little. Follow the insect. Poor guy. Here, let me invite you for a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. You can sing to me later. Thank you. <laughs> Hola, amigos. ¿Les gustó la lección? El día de hoy vimos muchísimos cognados, palabras que existen en dos idiomas y que tienen significados y pronunciaciones casi similares. Veamos un ejemplo de la lección de hoy. The Zacatoche, also known as the Poringo or the Volcano uh -huh. Rabbit. It's a very unusual animal in the Mexican ecosystem. Uh -huh. It is the smallest species of rabbit in existence in Mexico. Uh -huh. It has a small rounded ears short thick fur and short legs. Mm. The Zacatoche is also known to be one of the few types of mm -hmm. rabbit capable of emitting sounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Zacatoche is another victim of the loss of its habitat. Mm -hmm. This has put it on the endangered species list. ¿Lo vieron? Hay muchas palabras que se pronuncian de manera similar y se escriben casi igual que el español. Veamos unos ejemplos. Volcano, volcán, unusual, inusual, animal, animal, ecosystem, ecosistema, species, especies, habitat, habitat. Aquí hay otros ejemplos. Air, aire, case, caso. Cost, costo. Diet, dieta. Form, forma. Much, mucho. Ahora, hagamos un ejercicio. Intenten encontrar el equivalente de estas palabras en español. Artist, history, ingenious, delicious, student, Family, abundance, circumstance. Se terminó el tiempo. Veamos cuáles son las respuestas. Artist, artista. History. Historia. Ingenious. Ingenioso. Delicious. Delicioso. Student. Estudiante. Family. Familia. Abundance. Abundancia. Circumstance. Circunstancia. Eso fue todo en esta lección. Recuerden, para identificar un cognado en un texto, Observe las palabras que se escriben como palabras que conocen en español. Nos vemos en la siguiente lección. Goodbye.